there is a huge demand for Angular developer in 2021. Angular JavaScript is one of the most popular and widely used front-end development frameworks. Despite AngularJS being the earliest release, the demand for such developers still continues to be high. Hi guys, today I, Pavita, will take you through how one can become a successful Angular developer. So without further ado, let's get into the agenda for today. Firstly, we're going to start off the session by looking at how one can become an Angular developer and then understand what Angular is. Further, we'll move ahead and understand the roles and responsibilities for Angular developer. Next, we'll learn about the skills required to become an Angular developer. Further, we'll move ahead and understand how one can become an Angular developer. Next, we have roadmap for becoming an Angular developer and then close the session by understanding where to learn Angular from. But before we go ahead, make sure you're subscribed to Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on all the latest trending technologies. Also, if you're interested in online training certification, check out the link given in the description box below. With that, Let's get started. Well, the first question that pops up in your head is why should I become an Angular developer? Let's speak about the job opportunities. Well, there is a vast demand and opportunity for an Angular developer all over the world. Here, let's try and understand the opportunities in India. Firstly, in India, there are up to 12,000 or more job opportunities just listed as by LinkedIn or Glassdoor and around 30,000 job opportunities or more in the US. Again, there would be a lot more opportunities, but here we've taken and considered only based on LinkedIn and Glassdoor. We can also see in Indeed or even private job portals. Now, there are again company websites for that matter where there will be many more job opportunities available. Now, the next question will certainly be how are the pay scale and is it even worth becoming an Angular developer? Don't worry about it. We'll discuss here. As listed by Glassdoor, an average Angular developer will earn up to 5 lakh per annum in India, and this is just with basic knowledge on Angular skill set. And if he is an advanced developer, then he can earn up to 8.5 lakh per annum or even more depending on his years of experience. Now, speaking of the US, one can earn up to $100,000 in a year with his basic knowledge on Angular, while more than $150,000 with an advanced knowledge. With that, your most certain next question would be, where can I apply? Well, you can apply on LinkedIn, Glassdoor, Naukri if you're in India, Indeed for US, Indeed works even for India. Now, speaking of companies hiring, now we all have our goals of reaching some of the top-notch companies. Well, all the high-end companies such as IBM, Accenture, and Infosys are hiring Angular developers. If you're looking for a product-based companies, some of the companies such as Xiaomi, Adobe, among many others, hire Angular developers with good skill set. Now, the basic question we all have here is, what is Angular? So, Angular is basically a TypeScript-based, free and open-source web application framework. Now, Angular is a platform and framework which will actually help you in building single-page client applications using HTML and TypeScript. Also, since it is written in TypeScript, it actually offers library function which implements core and optional functionality that you can import in your applications. Now, there is a suit of developer tools to help you develop, build, test, update or whatever operations you want to perform on your application. Now, we should also know that Angular library basically covers many features like routing, form management, client server communication and much more. Now let's speak about the properties of Angular. First thing is that Angular supports ES6, which is a JavaScript standard that's meant to ensure the interoperability of web pages across different web browsers. Also, it supports TypeScript and it is designed for uh, development of large applications, 
which actually trans compiles to JavaScript. Now, speaking of speed and performance, it is really good because while you use a framework, it will actually help you in maintaining good speed and it will enhance your performance. Now, speaking of modular system, there is a modular system in Angular which actually uses ng modules, which will help you build application component wise, which will increase the visibility and uh, make it visibly delight. And hence, a modular system is being used in Angular. Now, it is highly compatible with all sorts of systems. It supports mobiles, tablets, and many more systems. Now, again, some of the facts about Angular is that it is widely used in many of the well-known multinational companies like your Google, Facebook, or even PayPal. And it's actually used with highly enhanced features. Now, it is also having a very rich web application which will help the developers to create very interactive client-side web applications. Now it's highly popular and the earliest a JavaScript front-end framework. Now with that, uh, let's go ahead and learn about what are the roles and responsibilities of an Angular developer. So firstly, uh, the primary responsibility of an Angular developer is to work on client-side applications. So they basically provide a full featured UI service for both web applications and websites. In fact, Angular developers are typically involved in the design of modules and components after which they combine these modules and components to create a functional program. So they should have a great capability to design minimalist modern web applications using all the latest trends and technologies. Now, they should also be very good in documenting HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, if they have good creativity and technical decision making, it would again come in handy while creating great projects like Angular. Now, if they have good research on any given product, that will make a complex task to break down and work on it. Now, if they have good coding capability and writing great codes, That'll help in unit testing of an application in Angular. And if they have good coding capability for lightweight and well-optimized and high performance programming skills, that'll also be a great responsibility for an Angular developer. Now here I've considered some of the job descriptions according to a website enlisted for each of the company. Here I've considered IBM. Well, IBM has actually posted requirement for Angular developer. And the main programming languages that they're looking for is JavaScript and TypeScript, as I've discussed earlier. And they also require a person who has good knowledge on Angular 6 and above. HTML and CSS and any related frameworks is also helping. As you can see, every company basically asks for Angular, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS in main scale. Now, this is another company called Siemens where they have posted a requirement for front end developer in Angular. Again, their requirement is Angular 2 plus JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Now, considering another company called Mindtree, even though they have considered four to six years of experience in Angular, they still ask you on good knowledge on TypeScript, HTML, Node.js, and Angular. Now yet another company, Accenture, also asks for the same. As you can see, there is a common description here asked by each of the companies, which means if you know really well in such cases, there is a high possibility that you get hired as an Angular developer. Now with that, let's move on and learn what are the skills required to become an Angular developer. As we've already seen in the job descriptions, by now you should already know that if you have great skills and knowledge on TypeScript languages like HTML, CSS, adding on JavaScript, it is a good add-on to it. Now, if you have good knowledge on cross-browser compatibility for coding, that will also help you. Knowing REST APIs and REST services offered by Angular is an add-on to become a good Angular developer. Along with that, technologies such as AJAX, document object module manipulation techniques, such things will help you become a good Angular developer. Also, 
if you have good knowledge on TypeScript, that is a big add-on and it is a must for Angular developer. With that, the certain question is, how do I become an Angular developer? Now, the first thing is, make sure you're learning JavaScript. Learning JavaScript from basics is very vital to become an Angular developer. The foundation is basically built on JavaScript. Now you can go ahead and learn first JavaScript or even the basics of HTML and then JavaScript that will help you. Next TypeScript. As I've already mentioned, Angular is built on TypeScript and hence you have to learn TypeScript. Now also modern web applications are also hugely built in TypeScript and hence most of the companies ask you for TypeScript. The third thing, but the most vital thing is that teach yourself Angular. Now learning as you learn for your examinations might not teach you well, but learning as though you have been taught or teaching yourself might make you learn Angular in a more appropriate and a clearer way. The last thing is that join social media groups and communities. Joining such groups will make you keep updated on all the latest trending technologies and you can also update yourself by knowing more about any language that you're learning. And here, if you're learning about Angular, I recommend join all the Angular related groups on any of the social media platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. Now, next let's discuss about a roadmap for Angular developer. So basically for becoming any particular developer, one has to follow a particular roadmap. Here, let's consider a building of a project as an Angular developer. So Angular actually receives many future requests from Google and any other open source community. Now at the same time, the list of projects are many and hence with that comes the maintenance tasks like code refactoring, potential performance improvements, and many more. Along with this, Angular brings in together representative from developer relation, product management, and many more engineering prioritized as in the list. The list is created by the Angular owners. Now, as a new project comes into the queue, there is a regular position for them based on any particular relative performance priority. Now, as this work is done, the project will move up in the queue and hence the next project comes into the picture. Now, they'll actually release project on completion and there will be a part of specific version based on the release schedule that has been followed in a semantic versioning program as given in the Angular. Now, for example, if features are released in the next minor after their completion, then the next major versions are being added if they are including the breaking changes. Now this is a roadmap that has been followed while an Angular version is being created. Again, this roadmap keeps changes company to company as you work in an organization. The project roadmap is being followed by that particular organizational skills. Now with that, let's see where one can learn Angular from. We have a blog written on Angular. While Edureka's blog does not just comprise of what is Angular or any features of Angular, it has all the frequently asked questions by any particular Angular developers who's just planning to become an Angular developer to an well-established Angular developer. Now, if you wish to, you can go through the blog which will help you come up with a great ideas and hence start becoming a well-developed Angular developer. There is also a certification for which you can find the link given in the description box below. Now this certification comprises of all the Angular course where it is a fully structured course and hence you can go through it and get the certification of Edureka. With that, we come to the end of today's session. I hope this session was useful and I wish you all the best in order to become an Angular developer. Until we meet again next time, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist 
and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!